Hi, my name is Stratos. In this video, we're going to see how we can clean our database after uninstalling a theme or a plugin. Now we will start by viewing what we have here. We have a local installation of XAMPP. This is the XAMPP installation. This is the database that we are using right now. A default WordPress installation has 12 tables as you can see here. And we're using the Astra theme and I have uh, created, I uh, have imported and a ready template with the Astra starter sites. And if we go here at plugins, this is the plugins that we are having right now. Now, not every plugin create their own tables inside the database, but there are some uh, plugins that they have to create some tables to store the information. Okay. If you uh, add a plugin like a contact form or something else, it doesn't create their own tables to store the information. It uses the WP post table. So if I will search for the most popular and install the contact form seven. Okay. It's already installed. Sorry. Uh, as you can see here in the contact, you will see here test one and test two. And if I go back here and click inside the WP post. Okay. I will make them by viewing in post date order. You will see here that this is the post title test two and test one. This is the two contact forms that I have created. So uh, the contact form seven uses WP post and uh, inside that table create all the fields that uh, it needs for it to work. So not every plugin or every theme will create their own tables, but there are some plugins and of course some themes that will create those tables. So if you install, uh, let's go for the WooCommerce. Okay. Let's go for plugins, add new, and we'll install WooCommerce. So if you install WooCommerce and you have it installed, see what it does and then uninstall it. The, the tables inside the database won't be uninstalled. Won't be deleted. They will remain. Okay. Let's go for popular. And of course, WooCommerce is in the first page. Okay. Install now. And let's go back here. You will see here inside the demo that we have again, 12 tables. And after the Woo installation, we will get some tables more. Okay. So if you uninstall a plugin, uh, all the tables will remain inside the database. Now, some plugins have the ability inside the settings or somewhere else, uh, have a box that you will check. And it says usually that uh, all the tables and all the settings will be uninstalled. Uh, upon the plugin del deletion. Deletion is the right word. Sorry for my English. Okay. Uh, upon the plugin installation. And uh, if it has a feature like that and you have it checked, then it will uh, delete those uh, tables. Of course, if you delete a plugin and delete also the tables and you install the plugin again, all the settings that you have done will be lost. Okay. Okay, I will activate and let's go back here and refresh my PHP admin. And you will see that I will get some tables more than what I have now. Okay, it's clear now. And I have how many? Okay, 29 tables. So it added uh, 17 tables. Okay, okay. All those tables are from WooCommerce. Okay. Let's go back. I will, uh, not right now. Okay. I will skip the setup guide. And let's go again, the plugins and I will uninstall it. OK, 
okay WooCommerce deactivate and I will then click delete okay delete okay and you will see now that uh, the plugin is deleted but if I go back here to my PHP admin and I will refresh my database I will see that all the tables are still here okay let's refresh again as you can see all the tables are inside are here are still here so what I want to do now because I wanted to test WooCommerce or something else I don't want to keep those tables in my database it's not good for the database to have so many tables if you install something and then delete it go ahead and delete it from the database okay it's better for the speed and uh, for the loading time so let's go and add a plugin we'll go ahead and add new plugin the name of the plugin is WP optimize okay you can write here database or WP optimize I will write database just uh, for you to know that you don't have to remember the name if you type here clean database or uh, database you will find WP optimize this is the one as you can see here 8,000 800,000 uh, active installation right now install now and activate Of course with that plugin you can do more than just delete tables you can uh, clean compress as it says and uh, delete revisions and uh, optimize your database but I will mainly focus in uh, the, the tables and uh, how to delete them so let's go here that says WP optimize and let's click database here you can see what you can to optimize your database and I will click here that says tables okay so here are the tables and if you go down you will see that uh, the size of the database at now is uh, 12 megabytes sorry data size 13.5 megabytes and we have 29 tables so uh, after these tables you will see that belongs to WooCommerce but the WooCommerce is not installed as you can see here with the red color so you can delete if you see here you, it has a remove button okay so I'll click here the remove button and then okay and it's removed and I will have to do it 20 uh, 16 more times as you will imagine of course it will be better if it had something here to check and to remove all those by but at once but it's not the case so we'll do it one by one uh, of course before doing any of that you will have to make a backup okay don't mess with, with your database before taking a backup please be sure to take the backup it's very important so if you delete something that wasn't supposed to be deleted you can always restore your database and have your website back okay so let's go and wait and I will after upon all those removals I will just refresh the database Okay, I will click here that says refresh tables and from 29 that we have now we have again 12 let's go and refresh again my PHP at PHP my admin and I can see now that I have again 12 tables okay 12 tables so 
that was it. That uh, was the what I wanted to show you. You can use the WP optimize to delete the tables that you don't want. Of course, again, be sure to make a backup first. And uh, if you want to ask something, please write it down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.